right, well, in today's lesson, we are going to uh, differentiate between a plant cell and an animal cell. Hopefully, remember that both of those guys are going to be eukaryotic cells, and they really are similar in some ways, but they are very different in others. So today's little lesson is going to serve to go ahead and uh, tell those differences. So uh, remember that a plant cell is eukaryotic, and here are some of the items that can only be found in a plant cell and not an animal cell. So first we have this cell wall that can only be found in a plant cell and not an animal cell uh, between the two. A little bit later on we will learn that some other types of cells do have uh, cell walls, but in this particular case, just the plant cell and not necessarily the animal. So in this particular case, the cell wall is very, very rigid and it just does act as protection. Um, another item that the plant cell has that the animal cell does not uh, necessarily have is going to be a huge vacuole. So please remember that the animal cell does have a vacuole, however, it's teeny tiny compared to that of the plant cell. So this one's absolutely going to be going to be very, very big. Um, the last thing to go ahead and differentiate between the two is going to be that the plant cell has the chloroplast to go ahead and help to uh, absorb that uh, radiant energy from that sun. And of course, uh, animal cells do not because they are heterotrophs. So these guys right in here are going to be the autotrophic ones. All right. All right. And then remember that animal cells have, um, well, they have one structure that's common to just them. They have the centrioles here, which help the cell to divide, and we'll talk about that more later. Um, they also have vacuoles, just like a uh, plant cell, but remember that the vacuole in an animal cell is going to be very, very small. And it can often be uh, mistaken for a lysosome because they look very similar. The difference is the vacuole is going to store things, whereas the lysosome um, has enzymes in it to break things down. And so lastly, again, throughout this whole uh, lesson here, we know we've, we've heard a lot of information. And so we just kind of wanted to go over the differences between a prokaryotic cell and a eukaryotic cell. All right, so remember, I'm the one that was talking about prokaryotic cells. And prokaryotic cells are very simple. They do have some organelles, but they're very limited. So they have ribosomes, cell walls, and a cell membrane. Um, but other than that, they have very few organelles. And the, as opposed to eukaryotes, the eukaryotes, like we described earlier, have numerous organelles, including uh, the nucleus, which is usually most important that we, that we usually talk about. All of them are important, but the nucleus is the one that we uh, tend, tend to associate with the eukaryotic cells. And again, those other numerous organelles. Hey, Ms. Pena. Yes, Ms. Noble. Do you know how you can remember prokaryotic and eukaryotic when you talk about a nucleus? No, how? Pro have no nucleus. That's cool. Alrighty. So what about size? Are they the same size? No. Remember, prokaryotes are really small, right? So you don't have nearly as much stuff to pack into a small space. So prokaryotes are very, very small in size. And even though our cells are also small and you can't see them without a microscope, prokaryotes are tiny even compared to our little individual cells. Very good. So eukaryotic cells are, are bigger than, the, than those of the uh, prokaryotic cells. All right, also, where do we find prokaryotic cells again? Do you remember? Um, just in bacteria, right? Right, just bacteria. Now, there are two types of bacteria, which we'll talk about later, but if you can remember that prokaryotic cells are only found in bacteria, then you should be good. And please remember that uh, eukaryotes, not only do we talk about uh, them as in animal cells, plant cells, but remember, we also have uh, kingdom fungi and kingdom protista that are included within that uh, eukaryotic cell domain. Thank you.